Hey guys, welcome to part two to my September beauty empties. Um, if you haven't watched part one, please go back and um, take a look, uh, rate and, sus and subscribe. It is free. Um, I'm going to jump in. This is my part two of my September 2013 beauty empties. Um, this part two has more samples in it than full size products only because I was a uh, participating in sample September so um, I tried to finish as many samples as I could however it was pretty difficult because my samples were deluxe sizes so um, it kind of took me a little bit longer to finish those particular samples um, but anyways getting started I'm going to start off with my uh, Bach Rescue Remedy this is an anti-stress um, home remedy that I get from the naturopathic uh, food store it's a natural stress relief and um, it comes in a little dropper so um, you would it's an oil base formula you would take a couple of the drops and put it in your water and you would sip your water um, this stuff is pretty expensive a little bottle like this is about $15 but it should last you for a long time um, I had a pretty stressful month so I did end up finishing the bottle um, but it's not an addictive uh, type of of uh, medication or anything like that. These are all natural oils that you can um, ingest. Um, I think they're from flowers too. So you would be able to um, take a look at that online. This is called Rescue Remedy from Bach. B-A-C-H. So love that and I have repurchased it. Next up, I um, finished a Silk Elements a Mega Silk Olive Conditioner in a... Um, I guess you can call these sa sample packs, but they're actually, like I just say, they're for individual uses. Um, you can get the big bottle if you want, but I like these sample packs because sometimes when I get my hair done by my boyfriend at his house, um, I'll take one of these with me so that after I get my hair colored, I can just throw this conditioner in after I shampoo and rinse and we're good to go. I don't have to lug anything with me. Um, I'm very particular about conditioners that I use and this one is very moisturizing, um, probably because it has olive oil in it hence the color of the package. You can get these at Sally's for 99 cents. Uh, the bigger package is a, I think about 10 bucks, like the big bottle is 10 bucks, but I like these ones better. Um, next up I finished a candle, um, Old William Old William Burr Candles is called uh, a scented candle in cinnamon bun. Um, this is actually really, it smells good. I got this at the dollar store for a dollar. Um, and this is what the package looks like. Um, it was awesome. It actually lasted me for about a week and a week and a half. Um, the candle it took a long time to burn, which was awesome, and um, the scent was just amazing. That filled my room, so I really enjoyed that. And P.S. Don't mind my background. This is like where I do my makeup. I have all my jewelry. It's like a disaster, I think. But. Um, I kind of I'm really pressed for space because I'm living at, in my parents' house right now, so I can only use a certain amount of space that's dedicated to me. So once I, you know, move in with my boyfriend and you know we start planning for you know a house and all that kind of stuff, it'll be easier for me to space everything out. But right now I'm kind of confined, which kind of sucks. But hey, what are you gonna do? Um, anyways, going moving forward, we are going to um, tell you about this little guy. It, it is a coconut cream, a cream coconut milk shower gel. I got this in a little baggie from uh, Bath and Body Works a while ago, and it was a, a, a it was a coconut shower gel. It was actually pretty good. Um, did it moisturize my skin? I didn't really notice a big difference. It was just a shower gel to me. Um, did it strip my skin? Not really. Um, I think it was just pretty much a straightforward shower gel and that was it. Um, did it smell great? Yep, it did, but again, I wouldn't repurchase this in full size. It was a little sample I got in a, in a, little, in a little bag full of other items, so it was alright. I wouldn't repurchase it. Um, next up, I got a sample for Bioderma... What does this say here? Purifying Corrective Care. Um, actually, I think I have two of these. Do I have two of these? No, I think I only have one. I have one. 
So, um, this is a corrective care one. I didn't like this because it was, uh, the scent was brutal. Like, I, I couldn't stand it. I couldn't, I couldn't take this. So, I tried to finish it. I did, um, when I repurchase it, and the full size, no. Um, I didn't really find it do anything for my skin. Next, I, uh, I also finished a Bioderma sample for the Tightening the Pores. This one actually kept you matte throughout the day. Um, did it actually keep me matte? Um, I would say it did for a little bit, but it didn't keep me matte for the entire day. Um, would I repurchase in full size? Probably not, because there are way better products out there to keep you matte. Um, next up I did, I have a Biotherm Anti-Drying Body Milk with Citrus Extracts. This was amazing. This is basically a body milk, like a body lotion for your body. Um, it smelled like oranges and citrus scents, which was awesome. I, I've never smelt anything like this. It hydrated, it didn't leave you greasy, it, it kept you feeling dry, but but moisturized at the same time so you weren't like greasy where you're slipping around everywhere like you would you would feel in a, as a body butter you if you would use a body butter so um so yeah i really like this would i purchase it in full size i probably would but i have other lotions to get through first so um i wouldn't purchase it right away yet um next sample i finished a la roche posay effeclair uh gel Purifying foaming gel for oily sensitive skin soap free pH 5.5 um, I use this in the shower to wash my face. It's a gentle uh, Foaming gel that actually cleanses your skin. No exfoliating nothing like that um, It was actually pretty good. I really um, I really enjoyed it just you know as a as a cleanser, but I wouldn't repurchase this just because it is quite expensive and I can find other items cheaper that would do the same job. So, I mean, it was good while it lasted. Um, next sample I finished is La Roche-Posay, the Anti-Aging Sensitive Skin Fill-In Care. And this is for uh, vitamin C. Um, this actually was like a serum. Um, it reeked. It did not smell good at all did not like this at all so I will not be repurchasing it it made my skin really greasy uh, opposed to hydrated and I just did not like this it was brutal will not repurchase this again or purchase it in full size if, if you want to be technical um, next up I finished a glam glow youth mud tingle exfoliating treatment um, this I got in a Sephora package a while ago. Um, it was actually pretty good. I liked the mask. Um, Mel and PHS actually bought a full size of uh, one of these little puppies and she also has a coupon co code for this. Um, I don't remember what it was but I actually am debating on getting a full size to, um, to fully test it out properly. I mean, after one application, it was pretty good. I really liked how it felt my skin. It left my skin hydrated and not greasy. Um, it wasn't exfoliate at the same time. Um, it was great. I really enjoyed it. Um, it's a little bit expensive, though, for it to buy a full size, so I don't know if I would get it unless I have a coupon code to use. Um, and I'm sure you can get it at Sephora, so uh, you can check it out there. Um, last item, I finished another candle. This was from the Febreze line, the Hawaiian scent. Um, I love the Hawaiian scent. It's so fresh and summery, and that's what I was burning for the month of August. Um, I did finish it. Um, it did take me a while to finish because it's such a strong scent that you can't really burn it for too long. Um, all at one time so you kind of have to burn it for a little bit then turn it off let the scent you know sit and when it goes away you burn it again um, so it actually did it did you know last quite a while um, would I purchase it again probably but I have all my Bath and Body Works um, candles that I still have to get through for from fall time and then hopefully the summer ones so I'm probably going to work on those before I get any more candles uh, for the coming year. Um, so yeah, that was my part two of my uh, September Beauty Empties. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. Please rate and subscribe. Um, it is free. I really enjoy seeing all your comments. 
Um, you know, let me know what you guys enjoyed uh, using up for the month of September. I would love to hear your feedback on what you guys used and what you guys recommend. Um, if you want to check out my blog for um, a de not too detailed, but a de like a more um, detailed review on all these products, um, it's MacGirl25 dot blogspot dot ca um, and uh, I have a whole list of reviews that I post on there of other products as well that maybe you would not normally see on my YouTube channel so um, again hope you guys enjoyed check out my blog macgirl25 dot blogspot dot ca and um, we'll see you guys in my next video Oh, and by the way, I am wearing um, Lip Liner by Urban Decay 24-7 Liner in Venom with a MAC lipstick in Rebel. And on my eyes, I am wearing a, um, a MAC Pigment in Melon with uh, Peaches and Cream in my crease from uh, Makeup Geek. My eyeliner is a MAC, um, it's a MAC eyeliner. I forgot what it's called. Um... I don't even remember. Let me see what it says here. Oh, Graphic Black is my MAC eyeliner. My, um, my eyelash uh, mascara is the Benefits Their Real Mascara. So um, that's it, guys. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. Um, again, rate and subscribe. I would love to see you guys subscribed. And uh, we'll talk soon. Ciao.